Hard people. Welcome back to King Queen Family. 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 In today's video, we are going to be doing I tell the King of Glory, we thank you for this wonderful food, the Lord, we are going to eat, the Lord. We satisfy this food with the blood of Jesus. Father, I also pray for those that are watching us. Bless their food, bless their house, bless their coming and their going out, and bless them when they are even watching our video and when they are even sharing. Lord, we thank you, meet their heart desire. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Come, let's go and dig the food. <laughs> let's dig in. I can't wait on this food. I will serve you. You know, I love serving you because you have a loving wife. Thank you. I appreciate that. Head of fish. <laughs> <laughs> As you said. Head of state, guys. Head of state. Mm -hmm. Honey, should I help you? Why are you? You are so slow. You are wasting my time. <laughs> I'm not wasting your time, honey. Should I help you out? Don't worry about that. I'm going to do you. Do it for you. Okay. It's, not, it's not every time. You need some fish? Why not? Oh, sorry. Yes. Calm down. You don't need to ask that. Sorry for that. Let me wait for my honey so we can do a screenshot. Well, I did, I did go now. <laughs> no, no, while I'm not going to go What do you mean? <laughs> by the grace of God, the wala is going to be solved. Yeah. By the special grace of God. God is wonderful and it's more wonderful. Honey, the aroma that is coming out of this food. Oh my God. Oh my God! Wow! Oh my! Yeah. All right, guys. Are you ready for screenshots? Wow! I'm gonna raise my one. Are you ready? Wow! At the table, sorry, I can If see you want to know how we prepare this delicious okra soup and plantain fufu, just check out. A and E Super Kitchen. We are going to be putting the link description down below. Mm. Mm. Wow. This is delicious. Mm. It's so delicious, guys. So much. Mm. Guys, as usual, what do you have for dinner today or lunch? Even breakfast, I want to know. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. So this is delicious. Mm. Oh. Nice. Take a look. Only oh, the soup is too much. See, everything is just pouring down. You are putting a bit too much stuff nowadays. So, next time we don't do it again. So, next time we don't do it again. Hmm. You only said, mmm. Okay. What is mmm? It's so delicious. Mmm. <laughs> that is to, mm. to say to tell people how tasty it is. Mmm. That is mmm. Mmm. Good man. This is. Those that love okra soup, they know what I'm talking about. This direct soup, direct no break. <laughs> mm. Today, we are going to be discussing how to keep marriage stable. You understand? Well, I want to discuss it with my audience how to make a marriage stable. As you can see, I and my husband marriage are stable. Guys, don't get it twisted. I am not trying to tell you guys that we are perfect. Stable and perfect are not the same thing. Do you get it? Yeah, that's fine. Come in. I don't think this marriage that is always perfect, you know? But no, no, no marriage is perfect. But we are all trying our yeah. best. You understand? That is a very good topic because I find out that there's many things that's going on in this world. Most big couple, you know? Yeah. Married men and married women. I've seen they start uh, kind of uh, leaving each other after like many the years. Voice here. The voice after many years. But actually. I can see it's the fault of the women, I can see it's the fault of the men, but I don't know who to blame. Mm -hmm. Both I'm sides, not, yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm not in that shoe. But for my own personality, I thank God the way God is doing his things between me and my wife. Mm. And uh, thirdly... I, no, I, what I'm trying to say, um, how do we keep our marriage stable till date? We are here to discuss about people that voice you know that for example. No. I'm just going to stop you at home. Okay, try to give them some tips. No. Excuse me, please. Actually, if you want to buy to be civil, the first thing in life is to put your money in the hand of God. Yeah. That is the first thing in life. If you put your hand, if you God put, first. Yeah, if you put your money in the hand of God, everything will work fine. And secondly, you have to trust your wife. I always say trust. Not only trust your wife, both of the couple trust will trust themselves. Yeah. yeah, not only one side. Not only one side. And uh, whatever your husband said, you have to put it in table. If you, if you even you didn't say it to her, or um, you got a nod of it. If you didn't, if you didn't agree with it, then you just have to call your husband in a peaceful way. You get what I'm saying? I say, darling, or any name you call your husband. Any your, nickname, yeah, any, uh, any pet name, guys. Definitely, a man and a woman have to have a pet name, you know. Yeah. There are some people call themselves honey, daddy, uh, mama, daddy, different way. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just call him the peaceful way and tell your husband what you just said is, is wrong. You know, you know, some women they try to correct their husband, but their husband never 
uh, accept it. Yeah, they, they, never will they, they will think that they are the one that yeah, because they are the boss. That women does he have voice? No, that's wrong. That's where the mistake. We are all from. equal. Yeah, yeah, No, men at the head of the ass. Then when it come to things of you know discussion, putting things in order at home, we are both equals. Is it? Yeah, definitely, you know. That's why some marriage is uh, some marriage. Uh, is some marriage is no, they're unstable. Yes, you get what I'm saying. So they don't actually listen to yourself. The man will go in one way and the man will go the other way. I told him, I think maintenance is one of the best things. So that is, you see, some marriage is all like that, you know? They, yeah. don't, they don't take their correction, you know? Yeah. Like both of us, we, we don't argue of those stuff. When I'm wrong, you tell me I'm wrong. Yes, only then, apart from that, in marriage, both couples have to understand themselves. That's it. Understanding is one of the making. You are just saying that we don't have that problem because we understand ourselves. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? And then, for me, the day you choose your wife, or the day your wife has said to you that this is my husband. Mm -hmm. uh, although I don't know what to bargain, maybe you just want to be your baby mama, mama or your baby dada, uh, daddy. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you have. With a few, agree. Agree on. But for me and my wife, we agree to stay together for better, for worse. To get do us apart. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason we always okay, work. Everyone, no, everyone. No, that's okay. so. That's some marriage is not married. They just want to have children. You know what I'm saying? Well, we are not talking about all those ones that decided to marry to have kids. You yeah, know? Yeah, I understand. We are talking about marriages that is in difficulties. You understand? Yeah. In my own opinion, in my, in my own take, is that if you want your marriage to be stable, guys, there's what the method that we, since I got married to my husband that we will be using is that although we do have our own time when there's things are not going well, instead of me to pick up a phone. So be honest, if my, my parents they are watching me right now, they know what I'm trying what I'm talking about. Even if if we have an argument, I will never pick up my phone and call my parents and tell them see what is happening, blah blah blah. If I do, what will they do? Are they coming to beat my husband for me? For me, it will make things worse. I'm just talking about petty argument, guys. Not, uh, you know, in aggressive way, all those abusing marriage. No. If you have abusing marriage, you have to speak out. I'm just talking about petty, you know, arguments. Yeah, you understand? If you know things that you can, you know, just settle between you with your husband, what is the need of telling it out, even to your family? No. You can sort it out yourself. That is one of the making. You know, there are some family. I'm not trying to say that we have a bad parents. To be honest, no parents, we want to hear that. You will just report to them that, look at what my husband is doing, or the man will report to his family that, look at what my wife is doing, that we appreciate it only. Yeah. They will say something, you know, at that moment that, that will say, no, who, did she, who does that woman, who does she think she is? Or the man, who does he think he is? From there, You'll be having second thoughts. From there, your marriage is, you know. Do that step. Yeah. Actually, that is another good point. That is what I'm using, my own. That was very number one tip we have been using. That's another good point. It's not even only family. Yeah, even friends. Uh, friends, you know? Yes, not only family, even friends. What's, whatever happened, happened. But remember, I said it earlier petty arguments. Not like all those abusing, you know. I'm not talking about those ones. For me, whatever those ones you have to speak up. Whatever happened at home, you don't need to say it outside. It says that when you say when the third person uh, heard it, it's gonna be all that different this at uh, time, you know. Yeah. Then the person may advise you or in a good way, or she will advise you or he will advise you in, in a way. very wrong way. Mm. For me, in other way that make marriage not to be stable is financially aspect. 
Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if the man is the only person that is providing uh, financially at home, mm -hmm. anything he gave to you, always use it. Yeah, you have to be self appreciate. Yeah. You have to use it. Mm -hmm. He can't do more other things. Some men always doing over time to meet their wife's demand. Yeah. And don't ever think about other people. Yeah, I yeah. see this. Look at his wife, he's driving on yes, this car. Yes, comparing. Yes, that is another good tip, honey. Comparing your wife with another woman is very bad. Very bad. Also, comparing your husband with another man is very bad. No. You understand? You, to be you don't about know you the way they are living. You are not living with them. If you are not living with people, you never, never, never can know the way they do their stuff. You understand? That's it. Yeah. So don't. Don't ever compare yourself with other person. That's another, another, another key point. Mm -hmm. And secondly, always pray for your marriage. Yes. The key of marriage is the woman hand. We have to be prayerful. You get what I'm saying? The key of the marriage is the woman hand. Because uh, woman, according to some parents, they say woman holds the house. How did I say so? Is that when the man left, when the man left to work, before he come back, he spent spend more time outside mm. than inside. He just to, to come back, eat, Mm. Spend two, three hours, start sleeping. You get what I'm saying? Then, in other way, that always the, the other back key at this moment that people are just using now huh, is that they will say the man is not strong enough in the bed. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's I'm heading all those in uh, media. media, media. Don't, don't, uh, the man you stay with for how many, maybe 10 years, 5 years, 6 years, this is the time you are saying it's not strong enough. In the bed, you know what I mean. I don't. I don't want to go deeper mm -hmm. in that issue. You know, no, it's not like that. Maybe the man is got tired. Uh, maybe have work or tiredness. tiredness. No. So, what do you want to do? Maybe the body is definitely weak. He has taken many one thing another. Well, that's what I said earlier before. Understanding the making. You understand? That is just, that is that. So you have to know the man when it's okay and when it's not okay. You have to be everything. Stop. Um. It seems the way you are well. <coughs> you are saying it. It's just only the male part. It's no, both of them. No, I'm just I'm still talking. I'm Sometimes still talking. women will still say they are tired. Yeah, I'm still talking. I don't just finish up. So guys, for the men side, for the women's side, and exactly that was what my wife just said, you know? Mm -hmm. After most. So you're making short, you say for both sides. Both of, both of them, okay. Ahead. Okay, both of them. You have to understand yourself to know that the right time to go and bed with your wife or mm. with your husband. You get what I'm saying? Mm. It's not when the woman is tired, then you are trying to force the, the woman or the no, that is not that. Love is one thing that is stronger than it's any other thing in, in the world. You get what I'm saying? So uh, I actually heard some people that said uh, they don't have the same account together. Okay. When the man and the woman is working. No, please, we are, we are spoken about that for a long time ago. About account, account. You can't bring this again. No. no I'm just trying to say because of the, 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 the discussion of today. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Mm. And let me go to the other side. If you have a child in the married circle, mm. don't let don't let don't lay your child down to your husband. Just try to make sure that your child, your children. How do people let their Yeah, you know, some people they will support the children to over 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 overrule their, uh, oh, their, their father. Yeah. Whatsoever their father said, the, the father the mother would say, don't obey him. You know? Yeah. It happened. Yeah. It happened. No, what I understand, just for example, if your child is doing something that is wrong, hmm, your husband we come in. When you see that your husband, you know some mother, we mothers. Sometimes when our husband is chatting at our children, he he ought sometimes. But they are correcting our children. Instead of you to tell your husband off in front of your kid, just swallow it. Just just ignore as if nothing is happening. Then the thing the right thing for you supposed to do straight at that moment is for you to tell your child. Just obey your, what your daddy is saying. Keep quiet, calm down and obey. But after that, if you know your husband was the person who, is, who was wrong at that moment, you don't have to tell your husband off in front of your child. But after 
your tribe is not there. It's not there anymore. Then you can tell your husband, <coughs> look at what you just did. That is not the way to do it. You know it's a little child. Bah, bah, bah. You understand? So next time, you don't do this. So your husband will take it. Then when you sign your husband off in front of your child, or for me, the child, you know, he will look it as, yeah. That is, is my the, mommy is right. My mommy is supporting me. Yeah, in that, that way, you are letting your husband down. Tell, you know, the child will not, no, give, will not give respect to the, yeah, to his no father. Respect. Whatsoever the father said, the child will not obey anymore. What What my husband is trying to say that if you want to have it, it will be between you and your husband, not correcting your husband in front of your child. That is another good point. Uh, check on me. If both of you have an argument, don't ever argue in the presence of your child. No, you, have, you have the time. Man, yeah, argue. Some people do that as well. Argue in front of kids. No. Guy, I can guarantee you that. Even my children, sometimes they will even ask me, Mommy, I've never seen you, Daddy. I've never seen both of you quarreling. I will say, No, why should we? Some people are used to that quarreling in front of kids. That is not good training, you know. That is another good thing. So, guys. These are the sum of the things we are using in our home. I hope it's going to help some people. If you know those what we just said now, the one that is you know that is is good for you. Pick it. The one that is not good, you can even easily leave it. Leave it. We all are still learning. No one is perfect. Um, you can even comment down and tell you tell us how you. Do your whole way, you know? Yeah, we even pick. We even pick. Every day, we are kind of passing a love learning on it. You know, some people, they think, all these are Mrs. or Mr. I know it all. No, nobody knows it all. Nobody's perfect. It's only God. We all are still learning. I remember the other day, when we was doing, let me say, it was two months ago. Mm -hmm. We was eating padenya. And when I said, yeah, Allah, Allah is, is very good. We are making padis, Allah, Allah, flour, so yeah. now. There was someone who comments, they comment on it that uh, we should be very careful the way we eat all this flower stuff, blah, 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 mm. which is more better. Believe me, that was my first time I made with the next video. I went to shop, I bought wheat, then I, I made it was good. Till date, I'm still eating wheat. Just because I took correction. Yeah, you have to do that. Yes. Um, make you. Yes, make you nobody okay. is perfect. Oh, there are some people when you correct them, will say, No, what do you do? I know better. You will remain there, you will still remain there. In school, those days, when you do tests, you have to take correction. In school, those days, when you do tests, you didn't get the answer, mm -hmm. the child will do the correction. Then the trick of the correction, you don't know the mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Some people are. Some people they don't, they don't, they don't, like they don't to want take it at all. They just want to see the know you know. So they, call that, they call those kind of people. Uh, what is the name? Well, I think it. I think it. <laughs> Mrs. I too know. So that's just that. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video once again. We love you. I know you love us too. Mm. Here is our point this evening. I hope and I believe we correct some family. Yeah. And just the way we also say it, we still correct us too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Are still so if you have any view or anything to write or comment down below and tell us how you manage your home. In a good, good way, if it's a bad way, just oh, take our advice. Mm -hmm. They don't have to tell you or comment that they have the manager. No, maybe they will have, have some advice to tell us. You know? Okay, yeah, just in boss, yes. We are still learning, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If today is your first time of tuning into our channel, please, before you leave, make sure you like, share, and subscribe remember to turn on the notification bell anytime we upload you i mean you will be the first to be allowed thank you we appreciate for being there for us may the almighty god bless you in jesus mighty name stay blessed and stay safe so we guys love you. so guys remember to share this video to your brother or sister, to your loved ones, 
and those guys that live in your area or outside your area, anywhere they live, and I believe someone shared this video to you, and you also share it to other people. And make sure you share it around the whole wide world. Remember to watch from the beginning and to the end, so that there's a message behind there, so that you, so you know hits. out of it, no? Yeah. So remain blessed and keep safe. Bye for now or to come your way again. We love you. Bye. 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 Bye.